Welcome back to Twilight Takeover, with myself and actually one, Digital Reaper. Hi. And uh, as you can tell, we're standing in the new and improved Thoundcraft room. Look at this bad boy. DR's been hard at work. Careful there, that thing's hot, bro. Hot, 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 because you are making wands, I think. Yes, Wand of the Adept. What does this do? It makes other things. Excellent. Okay, so back on with the uh, makeover. We DR put red Zycorium blocks in the ceiling, uh, black in the floor, and he's done this rather nice border situation with the blue, and used nether brick for the walls, and he's currently hard, hard, hard at work um, building wands. We're going to try and knock out the next three wands all in one go, so that's the excavation wand, the fire wand, and the ice wand, right? Mm-hmm. So, we're just going to get on with this. It's the same deal as the last ones. You throw the relative elements into the cauldron, it collects the viz, and then you can make a wand out of it. So, there's pretty much not really that much else to show you. I mean, oh, what's this? <gasps> Excavation wand! Excellent. Oh, no, I have to clean this up again. <laughs> so that's one of the wands. That's the excavation wand. We will be right back once we've got the fire and ice wands. And then we're going to tell you about a little trip we're going to take. So catch you in a sec, guys. All right, we are back. And as you can see, DR has been hard at work. He has created all of the wands. So we've got the wand of fire, wand of frost, wand of excavation. I've renamed my lightning wand Lich Killer. And we've got the Wand of Equal Trade as well. Um, the Wand of Frost, I think, is the only one that we haven't really shown you. So if we line that bat up, maybe we can get him. Oh, I, I did get him. Oh, and you can turn... Oh, well, that is a development. Ice, ice, baby. Dun, 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 dun. Sorry, I won't do that again. But, um, yeah, so we've got the Wand of Frost, the Wand of Fire. <gasps> Make a walkway to our pad, DR. That's amazing. You're a legend. See, this is why I keep him around, because he's the smartest motherfucker I know. But, um, we've got the Wand of Fire, which you saw earlier set stuff on fire. In fact, hang on, if I put my jetpack on and go up to the cow herding area, we're going to go... We'll go kill one of them. So, let's just land this. Do this. Oh, and two for one deal. Excellent. So, there we go. So, that thing sets stuff on fire. Uh, the Wand of Excavation you saw DR use in the Thaumcraft room. With turning... Well, he just excavated a wall, basically. It looks like it's got a little laser sighter on it, which is kind of cool. Um, and we've got the Lich Killer, which is the lightning... Um, Wand, which is what we used to kill the Lich King a couple of episodes ago, just spread them down, and the Wand of Equal Trade, which we showed, was it last episode? Yes. I'm pretty sure it was last episode. We, uh, yeah. You could swap blocks out with blocks that you had in your inventory as long as you right-clicked on one of them first, and then right-clicked against the wall, or left-clicked. Right. Go check that episode out if you want to know how to use the Wand of Equal Trade. It's kind of easy once you've got one, but uh, I'm going to give... DR back his Wonder Vehicle Trade now. Whoa, that kind of slid along the floor. Excellent. We need, whoa. Ow. Oh, jeez. Okay, there's a... I can't help but feel like I'm going to burn the forest down. You're the only one that can fly, little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got or the superpowers now. Ah, <laughs> yes, DR, melt that motherfucker. Um, so, yeah, that was kind of interesting. We might have a viz problem. It's because I was making the ice bridge. Oh, was it? Okay. I think, maybe. And also because the, all the wands, I guess. Uh, you need to be careful when using Thalmcraft stuff because vagrant vis and energy, is it? Yeah, vis and energy gets sort of in the atmosphere and it creates those things that just attacked us. Um, but... Wisps, that's the one. But we are over here by this portal because we need to go on a grand adventure back to the overworld. Um, well, not back to the overworld. We live here. We're going to go to the overworld on a holiday to find brain, zombie brain. Mm -hmm. So we need to either find 
a Thelmcraft dungeon for that, am I right? Or an angry zombie? Well, probably both. We have other things to find. Oh, okay. So, we're going to get on with doing that. So, three, two, one. Oh, wow. I tried to jump in all fancy and missed. Like <laughs> oh, wow. It's been a while since we've been here. And it's night time. Here's something we haven't had to worry about for a while. Yeah, and I feel bad. <laughs> I'm just all kind of derp today. Uh-oh. Are we, um... We going to sleep? I've got... I think we've got the beds in the supply chest. We're hunting zombies. Why would we sleep? Oh, this is an excellent point. Um, I'm also going to mark up on the waypoint. Waypoint add. Exit. Okay. Excellent. I'm going to bring out the gun as well. What have I got? Exorcism rounds. Excellent. <laughs> one shot in zombies. I missed with my first one. I got in with my second. So, we are going to go hunt some zombies, and if we find some, we'll probably start recording. There's a creeper. Run away. Uh, when we start finding what we're looking for, we'll let you guys know. Okay, guys, we're back. We sort of just missed that, but DR just ran up inside a zombie and killed his damn face. Let's go back onto the tree. And uh, he immediately got what we were looking for. We never have this kind of luck, man. There you go, guys. There's our brain. Our collective brain. Zombie brain. Um, so, with this, we can now create... Um, brain in the jar. jar. But we're also here for another reason. We've got to find some Thalmcraft dungeons. So, we're going to go look around for them. Look at all these zombies. Isn't that crazy? i got looting on my sword as well, bro. Hey, there's another brain. Okay, so this was possibly an easier challenge than I might have thought. I thought we were going to be out here for a little while. Um, we don't... I don't think they... Um, they must not spawn in the uh, Twilight Forest with brains, then. Mm, possibly. Oh, well. I honestly don't know. Oh, there's hang another. On, this one looks angry. Yeah. Hello, mate. There you go. Is that another brain I just saw pop out of him? Yeah. Excellent. Well, take, three, three. take my one as well. There you go. Ah, you took my brain. Um, so we're going to go find a Thelmcraft dungeon now, and hopefully <laughs> everything will be cool, and we can get it all on camera. we got three, though. Uh, we got two on camera and one off camera, so I think it was well done. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to go find our Thelmcraft dungeon now. See you soon. Okay, so we found one. DR, I did it. I used my eyes. Where are you, sir? There you are. It's over here. Okay, so we're here for knowledge fragments. That's right, isn't it? Yes. And uh, we're just going to go ham on this, man. Let's go kill some motherfuckers. Woo, we're here. It complaints in some of my episodes. I don't do enough fighting. I need to change this image. But I say you do all the hard work, DR. I don't know what they're talking about. Me? Doing yeah. hard work? <laughs> I don't know what they mean. I'm getting so many zombie heads and skelly heads. Well, I've got a creeper head and a skeleton head. Excellent. That's what I'm all about. Okay, we got some. Oh, excellent. So how many do we need in total, do you reckon? Quite a few. Okay, so what else is, did you get all the good stuff? Did you? I didn't loot it yet. Oh, did you not? Okay. So we've got... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hello, Mr. Zombie. Do you want a cuddle? I'm fresh out. Right. We've got some knowledge fragments, some bits of paper. Paper's always handy because we're always running out of books. Oh, Logic Matrix Programmer. Is that for the turtles? No, that's for factorization stuff. Oh, okay. I don't well, think we've used that yet. We may look into that next series. I don't think much is on the chance chart uh, on the uh, challenge wall for that, is there? No. Okay. Well, we might look into that next season. Um. So yeah, got loads of lovely stuff. Excellent. Um. Do you want to loot up? Um. The stuff that you're gonna need. I'm gonna take this golden apple and I'm gonna dump like the string and stuff like that and these iron bars. 
If we had more iron bars, I might consider taking them back with us just to melt down, but then again, we don't really need iron. So. I'm on a melting down binge after I <laughs> I made like a stack of iron doors earlier and I had to stand there melting them back all down. Melting them all back down. Let's use proper English. So we found one of these dungeons. I think we're going to try and find another couple to get more knowledge fragments. Where are you, DR? Oh, look. Sheepsville. So you're going to mark that? That's marking it as done, yeah? Ooh, yoink. I don't know why we need it, it's just fancy. Take it back for the challenge hall. I've got a creeper head and a skeleton skull for the challenge hall, so that's all good. Uh, so yeah, we'll catch you back up. There's a lot of jumps in this episode today, guys. I'm very sorry about that, but obviously the trolling between one place to another and back and forth and all that sort of stuff, it's, it's, it can get tedious. So we're going we're gonna to spare you that and uh, get back on with our mission for finding these dungeons. So I'll catch you in a sec, guys. All right, we are back. DR has successfully found another dungeon. So we're just going to dig our way into this one, I guess. How the hell did you see this? It wasn't covered in snow. Oh, okay. Time for me to get to work, I guess. <laughs> see, I do have my uses. Sometimes. Not all the time. Hey! Stop attacking my friend! I kill you. What'd you get, DR? What's the good stuff? What is the good word? Oh ho ho! Ho ho! Excited. Meh, yeah, it's just diamond. Mm hmm. Fortune 2, Fortune 2, Fortune 2. Okay. No knowledge fragments, DR? Apparently not. Okay, well, I'm going to grab all the enchanted books because. That's my thing. And I'm going to dump off all this other stuff. So apparently we didn't find no uh, no knowledge fragments that time around, which is not good. But we did uh, did find the spider tree where DR managed to find and retrieve some bits and pieces. So, oh, man. That sort of makes up for it a little bit. Yeah, like Spike. This forest is a dangerous place. All right, then, we're going to go see if we can find another one. So we've uh, stumbled across this. Oh, my God, are we really getting attacked by a wisp already? Is that why you got the lightning rod out? <laughs> yeah. I, I understand now. Dogfight! Dogfight! We win because we're amazing. Right, so DR has stumbled upon this um, rather strange-looking structure. I'm not too sure what this is, DR. Is it safe to stand inside? Probably not. Okay. <laughs> also, I think there's this wisp spawner under here. Oh, is there? Oh. Yeah. But I'm breaking it because I'm about to die. <laughs> okay. What is in... Oh, whoa, this is a nice little chest. Shovel of the Earth Mover. That's some... Uh... Yoink. Yeah, boy, that's some trophy room shit right there. Yeah, we don't need saddles. We're saddled with them, but um. <laughs> By your silence, I should have just assumed that I should go stand in the corner, weeping silently to myself. Obsidian tile, that's what this stuff's called. There you go. Merry Christmas. Wee. Is it worth taking? I think we should take the heads with us, man. Yoink. Does not just drop obsidian tile. Obsidian totem, it drops. Oh, totem. So I think if we gather it all up, we might be able to make our own totems. Oh yeah, look. So I just took the uh, top block off this one, and it turned the one underneath it into a head. So we need to grab them all up. Excellent find, DR. We're gonna. We're, the trophy room is gonna be so full up by the end of this little trip. It's gonna be kind of crazy. I think that was just straight up obsidian, wasn't it? Oh, obsidian tile. Okay. Yeah, so we managed to find some uh, little bits and pieces. We haven't found another dungeon yet, though, unfortunately. We are yeah. looking quite hard. We went back to the portal, recharged all our stuff, came back out and headed in a different direction. Um, so, yeah, we haven't really found anything yet. 
sadly. But you will be the first to know when we do. Well, actually, you'll be the third to know. Me and DR will know first. And then once we know about it... Whoa, 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 what the f... Oh, that's a quick sound. Oh, are you kidding me? This is part of the biome. This shit's coming with me. How far down does it go? Oh, hang on. Two or three blocks. Can I borrow your wand of equal trade? Mm, where is it? There we are. Cheers, boss. Ooh. Oops, did I just pick it up? Yeah. Well, actually, just before that. Ah, oh, man. That is an excellent point. Oops. There we go. So what's happening now is all the stuff that we were just mining out quite t quite tirelessly uh, is now just being stored in DR's inventory in exchange for the cobblestone, basically, with the wand of exchange, which is nice. Yeah, equal trade. Equal trade. And it's not um, unbalanced, I don't feel, because um, you've got to have the actual items in your inventory to trade for the other items. Yeah, if you don't get something for nothing. Yeah, exactly. So it's not like the old... Um, e was it equal trade, where you put an item in a chest? Equivalent exchange. Equivalent exchange, of. yeah. And that's that That was really overpowered, I think. There we go. You can't zap the quicksand. It doesn't work like that. Although it might. It might dry it out. So this is all the stuff we don't need. Um, i got all the obsidian stuff on me. You can take all that then. Mm hmm. And there's your quick sound. Excellent. Thank you, sir. That's quite an interesting little block. I suppose it's just soul sand with a different texture. But, uh... No, you actually sink right through it. Oh! Like, yeah. Oh, no way. That's kind of crazy. Excellent. It's quick sound. Mm. Alright then, so we are going to find the next interesting thing and let you guys know. See you soon! Hey there guys, we are back. We have got uh, all this stuff. Isn't it amazing? We got um, we went on a bit of a decorative run as well. We managed to get three zombie heads, six skeleton heads, and two creeper heads. Uh, DR's been bashing skulls in with this crowbar, which as you can see has now only got three uses left on it. Uh, we managed to get some of this obsidian tile stuff and obsidian totem. Um, and we got knowledge fragments. I can't see where the knowledge fragments have gone. Oh, there's my jetpack. Excellent. Where are the knowledge fragments, boss? Oh, there they are. And we got... Tw is that in total 26? Yes. Excellent. So, that's going to be enough to get on with a couple of the golem research bits, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Cool. And then uh, we'll go out and grab them as we need them. Um, do you want to... How difficult is it to make a zombie brain with your current alchemical skill? I think I can do that right now, actually. Oh, excellent. Oh, wow. What the fuck is this note thing? This... Yeah. Typical. Typical. <laughs> uh, just ignore it. Okay. This... That's the worst ringtone ever, by the way. <laughs> I'm in the it. library! Um, this is a what? It is a research note. Explain, sir. There's nothing on this bit of paper, by the way. He's gone. He's disappeared. I think he's gone to answer his phone. Okay, so we'll we'll continue. Um, I don't know why he gave me research notes, but we have got all this great new stuff. So I'm going to put this uh, these enchanted books downstairs. And he sounds like he's back. Are you back, dear? Yes. Welcome back. Um, the so research gonna... notes are made from the knowledge fragments. Oh, so these are what goes into the um, the Thalmcraft table. Yes. Okay, so let's go show an example of that quickly. Oh, and also, DR put a new iron door on the front of this as well. Isn't it amazing? Look at this place. Isn't it great? Um, so, I'm here at the research desk. Oh, you're researching Fractus, good sir. No, you were. Oh, was I? Oh, okay, was that my thing? Okay, so the research notes go in there, and then you click on this thing up here. I'm not going to do it because I think... Okay. Yeah, you go through the normal research process. Yeah. Um, I'm going to give it back over to DR, but these knowledge fragments are hopefully going to become golem research. Yes. 
which will then in turn lead on to um, a, another challenge being completed in the challenge hall. Isn't it amazing? Yeah. Um, I think it's about time we went and prepped for the big build of the episode, so we're going to cut yet again. Very sorry, but we've got more tedious work to do. Uh, we're going to gather a load of items together, and then we're going to see you after this break. See you in a second. Bye. Okay, DR has finished with the discovery of Tiny Fezzes, which is a golem-related uh, uh, research. And if we come, is it over here? Yep. There we go. Here is going to be our brain in a jar. So, DR, if you would like to pull that. And there we go. So basically what this thing does is it will collect stray experience in the area, sort of just within a small radius around it. And then you right click it and it will dispense said experience. And it makes a little tune as well, sometimes, if your volume's up. But uh, yeah, there's Brain in the Jar, so that's another challenge completed today. Um... We have got one other thing we'd like to get on with, so we're going to get on with that now. So we will catch you in... Oh, hang on, I think DR is taking it down to the spawner to give you lovely people a demonstration. This leads to my uh, area, this little underground tunnel here. Mm. So I now, where do we want to put this? Get my research and then run again. Just... You can stand on it, so put it on the tile that you, like, remove that half slab that you're on. Mm, it's okay, I just put it up here. Oh, yeah? It's fine. Uh, and we can, when we destroy it, does it can does it keep its experience or does it lose it? I think it's spilled. Okay, so if we break that, it will spill out. So that's... I'm going to just turn the spawner on. Okay. Can we leave this thing on indefinitely now? It only holds about 30 levels, I think. Oh, okay. Can you build another one to put in an item frame in the challenge hall? I probably could, yes. Excellent. Okay, so that should have gathered up a little bit of experience now, so if uh, if you right click it... It doesn't work! It doesn't work. Oh, you might have to left click it, actually. It is up the top there. You can see it spewing back out, but it's going up the top again and just being sucked back into the brand new jar. So that's... It is collecting it, but, um, there you go. So you just collected all the experience that it picked up anyway, yeah? Yeah. Ooh. So, right, you can see, you can see bits and pieces flying in there now. So now if I right click it, there you go. So I've just got another couple of bits of experience. It's quite slow at the moment. I think this, uh... It's not the best design in the world, but it works, so it's better for manual use, I think. But uh, there's our brain in the jar. So yeah, we're going to go run and get on with our other bits and pieces now. So uh, we will catch you in a second, and then we shall end the episode. See you soon! Okay, we're back. Feeling good. Feed me. Um, we have created such devices as these. Retrievers. DR's been hard at work. He built the retriever. Uh, he built this little gem right here, which uh, from the advanced machine blocks that we showed you last episode, you probably could have worked it out that we was going to build a mass fab this, this episode if you put together the thing that's in the challenge hall and the advanced machine blocks. And we also have these recyclers. So we are now going to go... Downstairs, I'm guessing? Yes, this away. This away, and we're going to build a mass fabricator. Whee! Is this thing likely to explode, DR? It may do. Excellent! No, it can't explode. Oh. Unless we plug the extra high voltage into it. Which and we don't have. Oh. <laughs> we don't have an, even have medium voltage here. So, my mass fab will go here. Recyclers. I will put the recyclers there. 
Look at it go! Isn't it amazing? So these are recyclers, so what do these do? You put stuff in them and they turn it into UU matter? Yeah, or no, they turn it into scrap. Which is then turned into UU matter? Yes. Excellent. And these are being fed by igneous extruders. And so we need one jar of lava, and, or one bucket of lava and one bucket of water for each one, yeah? Yes. Okay. Do we have das? Not to hand, but we'll do this bit. We can fill it up off camera. Okay. People don't need to see us running back and forth with buckets. <laughs> Okay, so that is also a recycler. Oh, that's the mass fab. Okay. So it needs to be fed power. Yes. Okay. And you're just going to take the items out of the uh, storage system for now? Yeah. Okay. Or, well, it'll feed into the storage system. This top tube is connected to the system that pulls out of all the different chests. I get ya, so this is the, it will send the UU matter into the sorting system. Yeah, it'll, it'll suck it in. Okay, and excellent. Sort. I, I was looking at it the wrong way around, I thought that was an input chest, sorry. Yeah, this little crap copper cable needs to go. So that's the glass fibre cable, yeah? Yep, if I can guess it. And that delivers electricity? Yep. Awesome. Don't ask me how. <laughs> Liquid electricity! These recyclers might have power. Excellent, excellent. So these devices will create cobblestone, which will then go into these guys, these recyclers, which will then turn it into scrap. It will then yes. be taken out, put over here into this retriever, and yes. then into the mass fabricator, which is slowly charging up because it's now got power. Um, this will then send the UU matter into the sorting system where we can do with it as we please. Yes. And uh, Diaz just put a clock down there so that this extractor or retriever uh, works per every tick of this little clock here. And if we go down here, you'll see where this UU matter will end up. So what we need to go do right now is we need to go get some water and some lava. And once we've done that, we'll be right back to show you how the mass fab works. And we will also be going over to the challenge hall to show you what we've done over there as well. So, uh, yeah. Oh, hang on. What are you doing, DR? We need to wire that up too. We need to it wire what up? What are we looking at? The sorting machine? And the retriever. They both and... need power. Need oh. to wire that up. Okay. Can you do that now or should we come back? Um I can probably do that now. Okay. So just run through what you're doing quickly. You are applying the cable to the wall. Okay. I'm lost. So am I. <laughs> I'm taking a feed off the existing system over right. here. Right. God knows how to like all this. It's got all these retrievers here. Sorters, more retrievers. Then I'm running a cable through to the back of them. It's like a computer, if you look at it, if you think about it. Do you want me to stand up here and wait for you to break through? I am in line with the mass fab. DR electrician to the twilight forest. I have no idea where I'm going. You're looking pretty low there, Skip. <laughs> There's a quite a few pipes and things around here. Uh oh. Hey, there you go. You should be almost in line.
And it's not just as simple as building a mass fab. You've also got to build like 90% of this other stuff that comes with it as well. Unless you've got like, I suppose you could replace the uh, extruders with a quarry, maybe? Yeah, you okay. could. Any source of just random materials will do. Okay. The only thing that it won't accept is uh, sticks, I believe. Oh, fair enough. And possibly snowballs. Hmm. Because it was just a little too easy for mm, getting Yeah. Those. You still doing wiring back there, boss? I'm tidying up. Ah, okay. So it's it's fed into the system now, yeah. Yes, for some okay. definition of tidy at least. Let's just have a quick look. Okay, so you've led the uh, wire around from there into the mass fab. Okay, cool. Into the uh, retriever at the bottom. Oh, okay. I see. The retriever requires blue trip power, which we were getting from back there. So it wasn't activated. It was only sucking when the redstone signal was going on it, it needed actual power. It needs power to suck. Okay. And a redstone signal. Okay. Bear that in mind, if you ever build one of these bad boys, that's what you're going to need. Right, so we're going to disappear now, go grab some bits and pieces, and we will be right back. See you soon, guys. Okay, guys, we are back. We have set up our igneous extruders, and we've got our mass fabricator running. Uh, I'm talking quite quickly because it says progress 94%. Every time you see this amplifier pop up, it's because some scrap's gone in here. So scrap's going in, and then it's producing UU matter, which is then getting sucked up there into the sorting system. Or it should be. There it goes. And then it will eventually arrive in here. Um, this tube, it should I think. Quite a Okay. Oh, isn't it tense? Isn't it tense? It's a bit tense. Oh, no, sorry. This pipe is over here. Okay. Hey, there it is. There it goes. So that is now being coloured black, and we'll be going into the valuables chest? No. It's coloured black because it doesn't know how to turn it into blocks. Oh, so now it's blue. Light blue, yes. And that is going into which chest? Light blue. Which is... This one. Oh, excellent. Did we beat it here, or is that the two... I you... think we beat it. Oh, yeah? I so think... That... Possibly. Mm. I, I don't know. Okay. Well, no, there I is our, our mass fabricator working. So we've got UU matter now on production. So, uh, DR, I think there's only one one thing left to do, bro. Yay. Let's show the lovely people our new hall of challenges. Look at this bad boy. So we did a bit of redecorating. We've got uh, these flame jets and smoke jets from the swamp that we visited. Uh, fire swamp. We've got these totems over here that you remember from earlier in the episode where we went and... There were chests in the middle of them. We've got Shovel of the Earth Mover over here. Ooh, we've got DR's Crowbar. And uh, we've got the Mob Heads down here as well. So, yeah. Uh, do you want to go do your thing, boss? We need to do this one. Uh, this what one. The? Why is there a chicken back here? Chicken! Dipper! I tried you to not kill shoot him. the chicken. Oh, he saved his life. Right. Ding! So let's make a mass fab. Done. Uh, create a brain in a jar. Which is this one? Done. Unlock all golem research? Not yet. Not yet? Okay, create a set of utility wands. Bing! Done. So guys, we've only got, if we look around, one, two, three, four, five six seven challenges left and then the big one so uh yeah twilight takeover thank you very much for watching guys it's been an absolute pleasure <laughs> unlimited power um myself and dr thank you very much for watching and uh we'll catch you next time bye 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 see you soon bye bye